Hello crafters, this is Suzanne for Cat Scrappiness and I am here with another release and this time it is the Quokka coffee release. Small release but oh goodness it is just so adorable. Last week we had the Easter release where I showed you these adorable bunnies and the Easter Quokka. Well now we have Quokkas in a coffee cup. Love! And also some new ephemera shaker bits to put in your shaker cards. Alrighty crafters, let's go right into this one. Let's get started. So the collection consists of a stamp set, a die set, and a six by six paper pack. Let's first take a look at the stamp set. It is called Coffee Quokka, and this is a six by four inch stamp. You get an adorable Quokka with a coffee cup. Here he's holding coffee in the coffee cup and sitting on top of some coffee beans. Adorable, you get coffee beans, small and large, and then sentiments. Sentiments like, got coffee, coffee and friends are the perfect blend. First I drink the coffee, then I do the things. Good days start with coffee and you. Stressed, blessed, and coffee obsessed. I love that one. Coffee is a hug in a mug. Fabulous. And coffee, please. So coffee, please. Got coffee. Those are your small ones if you want to put it on like a tiny tag with the coffee beans, etc. And I did use them on all my examples, okay? You also have the option of getting the coordinating die. The coordinating die cuts out all four images plus the sentiments plus the coffee beans. Love that. So everything here will have the ability to be die cut. Next is the 6x6 six six pattern paper pack and is called Quokka Coffee and it is 12 patterns four of each design. Here I have the pattern paper side. We have Quokkas in a cup. So pretty in this lovely spring colorway with dark brown in the background. We have this almost like a leopard pattern. What causes the leopard is coffee beans. Isn't that adorable? In this pretty pink we have Quokka's on the page, this awesome dot detail, this multi dot detail in different colors. I love that. Fabulous stripe. Coffee cups here in spring colorways. We're going to flip it over now. And on the back, what you're seeing here are the amazing neutrals. We have this arrow detail in pink, tone on tone here. That's like the coffee steam. Pretty with the beans again, but in a blue colorway. Here is like a linen pattern, like coffee beans in squares and coffee cups in this lemon yellow, chiffon yellow colorway. Very pretty. And that's the paper pack. Okay, crafters. So now on to my examples. First example, here is an A2 card. As a matter of fact, all my examples are A2 cards, which are four and a quarter, five and a half. And on this one, I have two quokas together, namely this stamp and this stamp. Let me give you a measurement really quick on that quokka. One and three quarter by almost one and a quarter. This one with the cup, you're looking at two and a quarter by two. So it's not too large, very nice to color. Here are my little quokka. So I have this one on the top and then behind it, that one. So they're staggered because they're friends. The sentiment is coffee and friends are the perfect blend I use for the pattern paper. This lovely design, and here's a close-up of that linen. Isn't that pretty? So the linen is in the background, and then the design is here. Let me show you what other products I use to create this card. One of my faves, the stitched nesting dome die. I use the largest dome die here. For the doily bit, I use the layered heart doily dies. This is from the Valentine's release. I could have chosen to use the hearts if I wanted, but I really wanted it not to compete with the pattern paper. So I just went with the outline, okay? And that's three and three eighths of an inch right there. And it fits the two images nicely. If you look closely at the dots, I included some solid round confetti and some brown diamond rhinestone mix. Now Kat has an extensive line of embellishments. Definitely take a look at that line of embellishments. There's a whole line of just this solid round confetti. I love them. I have them in a couple different colorways. There's even more there. Fabulous. And this was a freebie gift, but she does carry it in the store. That's the brown rhinestone. So if you do a lot of coffee crafting, you might want to get this one. It's brown diamond rhinestone mix and it's on sale in her store. That coffee it's... accent and it's in the perfect brown color. I colored okay. up the Quokas in Copic markers. Did this turquoise teal colorway. Here, what you're looking at is 
BG10, 11, and 13. Found a piece of ribbon that matches that colorway just to tie in the card. And then I have that jade green sequin mix, which matches the cup. And then here's the sentiment on top. And the ribbon is wrapped around that dome, okay? And the card does open like so. Cocos are colored in E30 markers, okay? E33, 35, 37, that range, okay? Cute, so that's card number one. Card example number two, which is a shaker card. So cute, and this features one of the new ephemera, couple of sprinkles, so you will get more than what you see here. I use a lot in here. <laughs> Have them floating around. The pattern paper is this one. So on the back is the stripes, and on the front is the one here with the coffee steam. You see it? So pretty. And again, this light peachy salmon colorway. You do get four of each design, so you will have four sheets of this, okay? And I have my little coca here with the beans sitting on top of a cup. And then here I use stress, blessed, and coffee obsessed. These stamp out very well. And this is not only stamped, it's stamped and heat embossed, and you can still read it. Good stamp. Love that, love that. Now let's talk about what else I used. And my dies are on the back, okay? So yes, I did cut out everything with the coordinating dies, even the sentiments, okay? Here you're looking at the embossed edge wavy die. I used the second from the largest. Largest is a true A2. So you would have just a little space here, but I needed space to put my foam tape around here and then have the frame because I still wanted to enjoy that beautiful paper with the steam. So I used the second to the largest cut that out, put a piece of acetate behind it, put that foam here, quarter inch foam, and then put my sprinkle bits and then the backing, which is this paper. And I have my little quokka here sitting on top of the coffee beans on top of a coffee cup, just for grounding. That comes from the awesome Cup of Love Shaker. This cup is right here. So I use the solid. I could have done if I wanted, and this is another idea, I could have done this as a shaker, then have that sitting on top to do a double shaker why not this is a a2 standing card so you could have as much as you want but i wanted to keep it solid here because i was using this color to pick up on the cup of love right here with that coral way so this is a lot of coral goodness happening here yeah love that the other shaker bits that's from the coffee glitter sequin mix Oh, so, so cute. I will show you the new embellishments at the end. Let's go on to the next example. Here is my next example, another A2 card. And here I have my little Quokka in a cup. Isn't she adorable? Match it back to that cup. And then I wanted the yellow here for the sentiment, which is shadowed on top of brown. My little girl right here in the cup, cut out with the coordinating die. The sentiment is, good day start off with coffee and you. And she's on Kat's Amazing Tag. Love. This is another one that you want to add to your stash. Here's the pattern paper. So the pattern paper is in the back. So that's the pattern paper right here that you can see even bigger. See how the color matches? And I got the paper. Yes, I was doing matchy-matchy, but I'm loving the matchy-matchy. Because there is still contrast in it. And the contrast in it is the off-white, this cream colorway. Let's start off with the background. Background is on the A2 reverse scallop dies. Largest one here four by five and a quarter on top of the pattern paper in the background. Then my Quokka had to sit on something, even though she's already in a cup. She's sitting on tag number two from Kat's amazing stitched scallop nesting tag dies. If you love tags, making tags for gifts, tags for gift bags, tags to put on a card, this is an amazing tag die set. Win, win. Next, from the perk up release, Got coffee, word die. So cute. I cut it out in brown first, but it was like fading too much in the background. And then I decided to give it that contrast, which would be the yellow. And here's my little coca. Got coffee, the sentiment, the tag, then the confetti. That's the pearlescent peach solid round confetti. Here you're seeing two different colors. They're pinks, they're whites, they're all kinds of great colors in this confetti. Love. And then I tied a little ribbon through it, add that little accent, and again, another standing A2 card. Look at the coffee cocoa goodness, and look how they all look different. So from one stamp set, 
you could get so much play and these quokas are adorable this stamp set will carry you all year round for all your coffee needs just fun 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 play enjoy now onto the new ephemera i showed you in my example a couple of sprinkles coffee tumblers in this coral colorway with a heart in the middle pumpkin spice latte with all this yellow orange goodness with confetti bits some circles there is the coffee tumbler with a pumpkin in the middle some orange love up next coffee dream sprinkle mix that's great for all the shaker goodness that could have also gone into this one too but i wanted a little bit of shine but you see the options lots and lots of fun options and then all this coffee espresso color bean goodness. For sports, there is soccer ball sprinkle mix. Love. Fourth of July crafting. Stars and stripes sprinkle mix. Again, love. Look at that. Look at those stars in different sizes. All the sprinkle goodness. There's a lot going on in here. There's some solid clay stars, red stars, and some circle confetti as well. This one is for summer by the shore sprinkle mix Ooh, look at that we have that looks like shells and a lot of pinks and yellows a little bit of pop of like this bright neon green fun here we have back to school sprinkle mix pencils an eraser a ruler a school bus this is adorable beach ball summer sprinkle look at this one so there's your beach ball in different sizes and again coming back into almost like the red white and blue but with a splash of yellow super cute has a nautical feel to it too with that shade of blue and that red right okay crafters i hope you really enjoyed this amazing fun new coca coffee release there will be an instagram hop tomorrow starting at 12 noon eastern standard time hop along see everybody's example for the chance to win 25 dollars. also double your chances so if you participated last week in that instagram hop you had a chance to win 25 dollars. participate again this week and increase your chances of being a winner yay Alrighty, crafters everything will be detailed and linked below definitely check out this one because this is your all year long winner all righty crafters until the next video thanks so much for watching stay crafty my friends bye